Okay, so it's Pocket Gamer. We're uh, continuing our travels around the world. We're in Brighton in the UK for the Develop Conference. And uh, we found some interesting people to talk about interesting things in mobile games. So do you want to introduce, oh, wait, introduce yourself, Jude? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, my name's Jude Orr. I'm the founder and CEO of Playmob. Um, so what Playmob does is we're a platform that connects games to charities okay. um, so that players can um, purchase in-app purchases in games and give back to global causes. What our platform does is make it really kind of quick and easy for a developer to set up a campaign, so rather than having to go through the legal process, um, the various documents, brand guidelines, brand licensing, um, all of that is included in our platform and we transparently show the results of a campaign, so it keeps the um, fundraising standards um, you know, up, up to scratch. So this is a bit different because we've, we've seen in the past, yes, some people kind of, um, you can use in-app purchases to directly fund charities. Mm. Uh, but this is a bit different, isn't it? So can you, can you explain a bit more about when I'm in the game, what am I kind of buying and how does that process Yeah, sure. So there's, there's two ways of it working. So the, 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 the model that we're using right now is that a player can purchase an item like um, a panda. So mm. we did a campaign in February with the Sim Social. Okay. You purchase the virtual panda and it supported a, a panda project for WWF. Okay. So the way that we work with charities is rather than it just saying, you know, money's going to go to WWF, it says specifically what it's going to go to. Mm. Uh, because our belief is that, you know, the more transparent we can make uh, a project for the, you know, for the player, it's a, you know, feel-good mm. factor. They can see what they're directly contributing to. Um, and the second model that we've got is our new coin system, mm -hmm. um, which um, isn't public yet, but we're testing it and it will be um, live and public at the end of the summer. Okay. Um, so we're excited about that because it's not just in-app purchases, it's players' time. Okay. So you know, you achieve, um, you know, complete a mission, achieve a level, um, achieve, you know, gain three stars and you'll earn um, a play mob reward, um, which you then pick a, a a cause that you're going to give it to, so it's like the Waitrose Green Coin system. Okay. So, so the player's not really paying anything themselves, they, no. but they're kind of their game time is being used in a, in a charitable exactly. way. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So you've been sitting there very, very quietly. Yes. Hello. Who are you? And what are, Hi, what are, what are you um, in this conversation? So my name is uh, John Nash, and I'm the design director at Blitz Games, and um, I'm here really to speak a little bit about the fact that we've hooked up with uh, Jude and the guys at Playmob. And we're looking at actually integrating that coin system now okay. into one of our games. Okay. Um, so a couple of months ago, we uh, released a game called uh, Paper Titans on iOS. That's doing very well for us. Um, and what we want to do is integrate that coin system directly into the game mechanism mm -hmm. and uh, roll that out in a couple of months as an update. Um, but the way we're going to do it is we're going to make it so that players can play through our game. And when they get certain achievements in the game, they will be awarded um, coins or, mm -hmm. or whatever in the Playmob system, which they can then choose where they're going to donate that piece of income to okay. uh, on, a, on a global cause. And is this, is this uh, a purely altruistic thing, or do you think in some ways this might kind of help play, well, bring players to the game or so, play longer? So or? Part, of, part of the deal of, uh, with working with Jude is we're trying to make sure that we, um, we build a system that is um, super simple to integrate, so mm. it's you know, a real trivial exercise to, to put it into a game. Um, one that gives everybody who's part of this whole process some upside, right? So mm. the charities obviously get some revenue, developers are going to get some cross-promotion uh, opportunities and uh, finding ways to monetize players so people who wouldn't normally spend might actually start by donating first and okay. then get them into the habit. Mm. Um, so there's a lot of good reasons for it on, on, on the on Playmob side, a good reason for the developers, a good reason for the charities and of course for any big corporates who want to uh, sponsor the system and underwrite mm. some of those uh, donations they get some great upside too because they get their message out there, direct one-to-one -one with actual people, um, uh, all of which can be tracked and made completely transparent. So what we're trying to do is put a package together so whoever the, the party is involved is going to get a great deal from it, which is exactly what we're trying to do. But the main thing is, is that the charities are going to get a completely new revenue stream which they don't have currently, and that's our goal. We're all working very, very hard to make sure that, that billions of hours of time that people spend playing games is actually turned into good real world change and that's our goal. Mm -hmm. And so I guess that's the interesting thing is how the money gets put in the system in the first place. So maybe that's Jude, you can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so the, the in-app purchase model obviously the, the money comes from the player. Yeah. Um, but the branded version is where the uh, a big brand or corporate would put money into the Playmob system mm. and then we help them distribute those coins into games that are um, 
either aligned to the, the demographic that they want to reach. Mm. Uh, so it's almost like a form of in-game advertising. Yeah, okay. But in a very mm. kind of socially conscious way. Um, or brands would be aligned to the project. So certain brands might be um, very specific about which projects they want to support to align with their, their brand goals and objectives. Mm. Um, so we'll work with the brands um, to make sure we get that fit. They put money in the system and we help distribute the, the rewards, getting in front of players to help them do good. And is that something brands are interested in or is that part of the, experiment, the experimental process you're in? It's... Um, We've had quite a few conversations with brands and mm. with agencies as well, and it's. Uh, I think you know, if you look at the process that we've been through, you know, we've had to educate developers, educate the charities, mm. and this is our next phase of educating okay. the brands. Um, but we see we've got we've gotten quite a bit of interest so far. Um, so yeah, hopefully we'll, yeah. we'll we'll do the experiment over the summer and all the rest will follow. Yeah. So when do, do do you have a date yet, John? For when? Okay, the so will be? at the mm. moment, obviously, Paper Titans is live. Yeah. It's a great game. Um, so we're envisaging somewhere in the next couple of months where we'll roll okay. out an update where actually the system will be built into the game. So it will be live in the next mm. couple of months if uh, all, all being well. And, and following that, we had to uh, then roll the game out and the system into iOS, uh, mm. then across to Android, and then cool. obviously Windows as well. And do you think it's something, I mean, if it kind of the, it seemed to work well, would it be something that could go into all your games, or do you think it would still be, you'd still be certain no, games? No, absolutely. Work I mean, again, going back to this idea of it needs to be very simple to integrate mm. and good for everybody, mm. this is literally a system that will go into any game out there right now. Mm. It's just, as Jude mm. says, it's a case of matching up the, the needs of everybody and making sure there's a really good um, connection and fit between the donations wherever they come from mm. and the charity. Um, Playmob just going to handle that system in the middle and take care of all the difficult stuff. Um, so hopefully we can just kind of switch the system on and add more and more games mm. to the system and then start raising that kind of money that the, the gamers can create and, and decide where it goes as well. Excellent. Great. Thanks for your time guys. Okay. Thank okay thanks a lot.